The barrier for entry to make your own IRL inscription stuff is really low. You decide yourself how high you want to set the bar. I started by drawing on paper and then moved on from there. Now I have a whole set of cards and accessories related to inscription. Like this wolf totem, which is 3D printed in wood. There is an awesome helpful community here. On the Fanscription Discord server, we have a dedicated channel to share project statuses and updates. There are also channels with great resources to use. There are 3D models from the game available for free, released by the 3D artist from Inscription, Division 3D. Division provides some textured in-game models, which, fun fact, is how I managed to get high quality renders of the PO3 cards into my card generator. As an added bonus, he also provides hand-adjusted printable models, which makes 3D printing a breeze. Take this wolf head for instance. A 3D printer can't print in mid-air, so how are these teeth printed then? Aha! This is where Division's helpful 3D molds come into play. The entire wolf is made of multiple parts, which are connected together. You print the teeth separately, then just glue them in. This saves a lot of trouble, since otherwise you'd have to print supports on top of the model, which I think becomes a bit messy. When I compared the 3D models to the one in-game, the ears are pointing upwards. This is to make them easier to 3D print. When I asked, one of the changes Division was proud of was the ability to actually being able to screw in the heads, which I think is really cool. When you screw it in, it settles with a satisfying snap. A quick recap on how the molds look on the inside. They aren't completely solid, but rather have a conical pattern in them. This saves material, but still keeps rigidity in the model. You can print them with no fill, which saves some time and material, but I strongly recommend you do not do that. This body, which I'm holding here, is actually hollow inside, but it feels so fragile that I am going to remake it soon. I mentioned this earlier, but these are printed in actual wood. Sort of. This material consists of 40% wood fiber and 60% plastic. This material is a bit expensive though relative to ordinary plastic, but since this is wood, you can actually stain it. That's how I colored the wool fed and body. Check this out, here I've got two of the same piece, one printed in white plastic and the other in wood. I dipped both in stain twice. After staining the wood one, it traveled through the part, but on the pure plastic one you can see a clear line where after I dipped it. I mean, the stain is meant for wood, so it does make a lot of sense. This turned out to be a double-edged sword though. The stain follow along the print lines, which means I can just tap the brush and it flows to the sides. But this could cause the stain to bleed over to parts where I don't want it to have a different color. I wanted to find a way to prevent this leakage of stain. I had brought some different stains and one was just called white. And to my uneducated dismay, it didn't actually turn the wood white. However, here's an idea I had. If I stain parts of the model that I don't want to be colored, will the white stain sort of prevent the darker stain from leaking into it, as if it would fill up the uh, travel path inside the material. To test this I took a piece and dipped it in completely white stain, then I printed an identical part. To test I would put similar amounts of dark stain on same places and see what happened. Before that though, I'm obligated, literally, to talk about my printer, because this printer is sponsored by Creality. I didn't get any talking points, so I'll just talk a bit about what I think. All models you've seen so far have been printed with this printer, the Ender 3 Neo. It's their cheapest entry-level printer, and there are tons of videos out there that explains how to take a model and make it so it can be 3D printed using free software. The printer comes with some plastic you can test printing with, which I suggest you do before buying this wooden plastic. If you've been thinking about getting into 3D printing, please please use the link in the description so Creality knows that you came from this video. Moving on with the experiment. The results confounded me. Here I drop about the same amount of stain on both of the pieces, and the stain flows almost the same on both. But do you see this? 
the white stain dipped part looks more saturated. Like, there is this small but noticeable difference. I wanted to experiment a bit and decided to try out the staining method on bone tokens. I white stained one token to then stain it in brown. Another, for fun, I decided to mix stains and see what would happen. The last one I just stained in brown directly. Cheers! And this is the result. I do prefer the directly stain with its washed out look. However, I got to know how to get the more orange color. I need to experiment a bit more, but when I remake my totems, I'll definitely be applying white stain first to get the more golden brown color, like on this little miniature wolf head. Isn't it cute? That's where I am right now, and I think that rounds it up. There really isn't anything stopping you from making your own inscription stuff. The resources are all here, no matter your desired quality. At first I hand drew my cards, which were okay. Others, like corpse maggots, have taken this a step further and really embraced the style and made their own amazing cards. Nathan took it to the next level and made a whole dedicated box with this epic magnetic scale. If you want some simple cards, I provide printable PDFs for most Act 1 cards. And when you want to take the step into 3D printing, there's a link in the description. Thanks again to Creality for sponsoring this video. Have you made anything cool? Share it in the Fanscription Discord server, the channel Fan Project Picks. I think it's cool to see what people are making. Alrighty then, that's pretty much it. I've learned so much while making this video and I still have more to learn. Like this video please, thanks. Do be do subscribing, thanks again. Ring a ling a ding dong the bell, thanks. Right, thanks.